Hey everybody, I'm Gaylene. Welcome to my channel. I don't know what we're doing. I just really don't. I keep seeing people do the ornaments on their nails and they call them bubbles. And they're like, you know, raised balls. They look 3D. I suck at any sort of hand-drawn, forget it. If I can look at something, I can usually copy it, but not on my nail. <laughs> it's too tiny. So, I had an idea about doing some layering. And I have these Maniology plates. I have um, M078, M081, M041. This one is from last year. These two are both newer ones from this year. But I think I can do some bubbles. And make them raised and glittery and um, still just stamp them instead of having to like hand draw. I've tried but I like my lines get too thick and it just doesn't look good. Um, so on my nails I have and I'm sorry about this okay I hate doing this showing you polishes that you cannot get but Madam Glam they came out with a hollow line and they are linear hollows and they're so pretty i bought six of them i have four here and two others that were supposedly shipped like two weeks ago but then whenever i go to their tracking um my usps app says it's still they haven't even received them yet that they're still like in pre-shipment like they only printed the label and they haven't sent them yet but then madam glam says that they're in transit so who the heck knows i received the first four pretty quick and they sold out like immediately mistletoe is this green i have on i don't know that you can see the flame super pretty super and um, the gold I have is Hollow Knight. And here are the swatch sticks of those two. It's a blue black, Let It Snow is. Um, and Sticky Toffee is kind of an orangey, coppery color. I absolutely love these. I never know what I'm going to do before I do it. I really should sit down and figure out what I'm going to do before I start filming, huh? Hmm, probably not ever going to happen. Alright, so first off, I'm going to start with um, some stamping. And what I'm going to do is stamp the negative space outline. And this is a white stamping gel. Some of this she modern um, green hollow glitter and tap that on and that's only gonna stick to the stamping polish you could do this with regular polish, but you're going to need to be quick. And I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And I cured that and brushed it off and I've got some glitter. But then I want it to be like a bubble. So I'm going to take this gel top coat. And put it on the little palette here. And with this chin it down a little art brush. I'm going to put a drop on there. And spread it out to the outline. Keeping it kind of thick so I can make that like raised 3D looking bobble. A bubble. And 
and cure it. And then the outline. Over the top. Ooh, cute. And you have your little 3D bubble. Why am I, I don't know why I'm saying that in an English accent. Because I keep hearing people say bobble. So here's where it kind of started going wrong for me. Uh, I got the bright idea to use some chrome. And this is from Sparkle & Co. Or very pretty red chrome. And you can get these in the little sample sizes. And honestly, that's all I'll ever use in my lifetime is the little sample ones. And I think it was like five bucks. Anyway, um, so I put that on. And this was meant to be one of the snow globes from this plate. And I was thinking about Mom's snow globe. And it has little white tree branches with a couple of cardinals sitting on it. And I did manage to save the little scene from that snow globe. So um, why I decided to put a red background for a snow globe, I don't know what I was thinking. But um, I did end up, when I put the blob of clear on, I cured it with my finger up or down I guess so that it would you know be more of a circle a nice round but I mean why did I use red background I didn't like it and then the red just made me think of a giant pimple I <laughs> didn't like it um I like the ornament I think that was cute but I still just didn't I don't know what do you guys think? Anyway, I also wanted to update on that. And I appreciate everybody's concern and um, thoughts about that for me um, in the comments of the last video. Um, and I actually saw where either my husband or son was looking on Amazon trying to find me a snow globe just like it. So that was really sweet and made me feel good. Anyway. I uh, went ahead and used an Edubus plate, uh, the, just like the very first Christmas plate, I'll put the link below. Um, Edubus plates are absolutely my favorite all time. If I could only have one plate, one brand, it would be Edubus. I mean, I love Maniology, but those plates are amazing. Beginner, professional, doesn't matter. Okay. So I thought little lights across the top would look cute, but it wasn't. So then I went with this swirly like snowflake pattern and put a few little like you know pine needle bows coming down off the other fingers and I thought it turned out pretty cute but still in the end it just was not one of my favorite mayonnaise you know it was just one of those ones that in your mind it was really pretty that I really like that finger I mean but the zit no I just didn't like it didn't turn out right all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, the video's not over till the baby ghost giggles. Thanks, guys. Bye. Got the, all the neighborhood dogs barking at me. And a couple coyotes. Here's our lights. And I bought a, a real tree outside here to plant this year. And then that's on the side of the garage. So Target, day after Christmas, is 50% off everything Christmas. But New Year's Day, everything is 90% off all the Christmas stuff. So I go nuts. And I got this snowflake light too last year. 
So cute. Alright, say Merry Christmas, Penny. Sam? Anybody? Merry Christmas. <laughs> she got it back. <laughs> You're a good puppy, yes. Stop being a bully. Doggy. She's going to be so much bigger than you, and it's going to be so funny. Oh, oh, yeah, you beat him up. Beat him up, Evie. Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo!